this section of the video is to put the legs on the top and the bottom of the assembly shells that we've already completed. And what you have to do with that is take your top shelf and turn it over on your table to where you can take part F. There's going to be four legs that we have to put on here. And there's going to be a hole that's two and a half inches uh, from one end. And you're going to have to place it in between the end piece and the side frame. Uh, and there's going to be a hole, a 7 sixteenths hole here that will line up with this hole. Also, there's a hole that goes right on through to, to take a three inch pin. And so we're going to attempt to put this pin in there and find the hole. And you may have to wiggle it around a little while because it's hard to find three holes without tapping and shifting it around. But I think I found that one. So you'll guide that pin in. There again, you need to put some glue in that hole before you put the pin in. When it sets up, it, you won't actually need any nailing or anything like that. So we'll repeat all three corners just like that. Be the same way. It'll, you'll have a hole two and a half inches. You'll place it down between the end frame and the side frame and attempt to guide the pin in into position. If I can find all three holes, it'll be okay. Okay. Like that. Now, we'll just turn it around so we can have a little bit more room to work. We'll repeat the process on this side, on this end. Once again, you'll place that in there just like that. Take your three inch pin, guide it in, take your hammer, and tap it until you find your holes, all three holes. Just like that. One more leg. Do the same thing. Now, you want to take your table after you've assembled all four of the three, uh, three inch dowel pins. You're going to take your table and turn it up on the legs. Might be a little shaky until you get your last pin in. But you're going to want to put a two inch pin, part I, in the top corner. And what that does is go down through the top into the top of the leg and you want to you'll probably have to position your leg to where they'll match up there you go just like that you want to repeat the process on all four corners There again, you want to put glue in the hole before you put your pin in. Might want to. There we go. Lined up perfectly. do you'll have you'll have a pin going through this leg and one coming down through it so it makes it extra sturdy especially if you put the glue in there beforehand now to put the lower shelf in you'll want to turn your table up on its side up on its end rather uh, me being so short I may have to put this in the floor but you'll want to put it lay it on its side you'll take your lower shelf that you've got throughout there, place it in between the legs on the bottom. You'll notice that you've got a hole in the end and a hole here. 
and that's what you're aiming for. You want to take a two inch pin find your hole and if and there again you want to use uh, some glue to put it in but you'll tap it in and go to your other side and do this and repeat the, the same process Just, now when you get that part done you'll want to turn your table over and I might go this way with it. And put your pins in, your two inch pins, part I, in the other end. And tap it in, just like so. Just like that. Then when you're you're finished, you're gonna have your table just like you see it right there. Uh, everything will be completed, but your buttons and you're gonna have you're gonna have. If you notice that you're you're going to have a hole, a little spot on each side of your table. If the dowel comes out flush, you need to just tap it with a, a little smaller object until you have about a quarter inch space. Uh, that allows you to put a button on this side and allows you to put buttons on the side. Uh, these are just decorative buttons to match the front buttons. The front ones are to cover up the holes where the dials went in. But when you, the last part of the project is to take the button, which I can get one of those. You'll notice it's got a little lip around it and you'll just squirt a little glue around the hole and then tap the button and you might have to tap it with a little hammer but you'll put a button in each hole to cover up where the dowel went through the hole all the way around and as well on the side down on the bottom you basically do the same thing your uh, if your dowel is flush with this you might have to tap it through until you have about a quarter inch if you have a quarter inch over here you'll have a quarter inch over here the overall length is 20, your, your dial is 19 and a half, so you should have a quarter, uh, a little quarter inch size hole here to place your button in, all the way across the bottom to give it a decorative look. The last thing that you may want to do is get a piece of 18 by 34 inch plexiglass, quarter inch, lay on top of the table to, you know, put uh, whatever you may want to put on it. Uh, and that concludes the assembly of the table.